Welcome to the Clean Handbook. My name is Ross and before we go anywhere, check out the wallpaper, the new office wallpaper. We've got bird cages, butterflies, dragonflies, what more do you need? Hopefully and eventually that will change. Uh, anyway, crack on with what we are going to talk about today, which is getting out of knee pain. Now, knee pain is very common, especially among runners. Runners usually suffer with bad knees of some sort at some point in their running career. But it's not just specific to runners. It can be a normal gym, go gym goer, you can be a, play any sport of any kind, or you can just not be active whatsoever and used to have a bad knee. What we are gonna do is show you a very simple solution that fixes 80% of knee pain. Now, your best option is always to get it diagnosed. So forget about what we're gonna talk about now. If you can get yourself your knee pain diagnosed, then get it diagnosed and they will, the, whoever diagnoses that will then be able to show you the best way what, uh, for you to fix your knee pain. And which, cause it might not be what we're about to talk about. What we're about to talk about covers most things, but not all things. Now most knee pain comes down to imbalances. It's usually to do with the hip flexors and the quad muscles, which are the top of the thigh muscles. What they do is they tend to shorten and tighten, especially in runners because the quads and the hips do almost all the work when it comes to running. What doesn't do the work in running is then the glutes and the hamstrings, which means the front of your legs become very short and tight and the back of legs become very long and weak and essentially that's where the imbalance and that's where the pain comes from. Now how we fix that is simply by stretching the hips and stretching the quads. And again, if you suffer from knee pain, this is essentially, an, there's a, there's a, it's a no-lose situation. You're usually not gonna cause any problems from stretching the hips and stretching the quads, and you only have the, to get out of pain to, to benefit from. So uh, if you're not gonna get yourself diagnosed, this is almost a no-brainer just to try anyway. And what you're gonna do is these two stretches. Now, to stretch the hips, we're gonna get into a lunge position, back knee is gonna be on the floor, and we're gonna try and not to let our hips tuck backwards. So we wanna keep the lumbar spine, the lower back, nice and flat. And then all we're gonna do from there is push the hips forwards. Now this is quite a three-dimensional stretch, so you can push forwards and to your right, you can push forward and to your left, you can bend over a little bit more, you can side bend off to the side that your front leg is up. So if your left leg is the forward leg, then you're gonna to bend to your left to increase the stretch a little bit. And all we're gonna do is find where it is tightest and hold it. And you can hold it for traditional stretching, sort of 30 to 60 seconds. You can go for more of a contract relaxed technique. You can go for PNF stretching whatever you like. To, to keep it simple, all we're gonna say is hold it for 60 seconds, and it shouldn't be painful, but it should always be uncomfortable. That's how you know it's gonna be stretching. The second stretch is a quad stretch. Very, very similar to the first stretch, except we're gonna use something. Now, it could be a sofa, a Swiss ball, a bench if you're at the gym. It can be anything that you can comfortably put your leg on, and your back leg is gonna go up on whatever you're using. So for here, we're using the sofa. And all you're gonna do is exactly the same thing. Now we don't have to worry about keeping the lower back flat again. We can curve that if we want. But all we're gonna do is push the hips forward. And again, three, quite three dimensional. So you can push left, you can push right. The side bend's not gonna do too much with this stretch, but the main thing is just pushing the hips forwards. If you've not done this stretch before, be careful with it. It can be very, very tight first time. So don't just put your foot up and then sit up straight away. Ease into it or you might get quite a shock. Again, hold it for 60 seconds and all we're gonna do is stretch both sides for a minute. If you wanna do it twice, three times, then feel free. Uh, you may see immediate effects. It might, the knee pain might disappear almost instantly or it might take a few days, it might take a week. So give those two stretches a go. If you are suffering from knee pain, there's a very high chance that this will help, if not get rid of the pain altogether. And it's a no-lose situation. There's no hindrance or there's no downside to trying this and it not working. But I almost guarantee it will help with get you out of pain. 
As with most things, the simple solution is almost always the best solution. And there's nothing much simpler than putting your leg up on a sofa and holding it for 60 seconds. Thank you for checking out the video. Thank you for checking out the wallpaper. Uh, if you like what you see, then click the button below and subscribe. And also check out some more of our content here and here.